all right guys so have you guys ever gone out to shoot some photos and while you're out you saw something that you think it's gonna be an epic shot it's gonna be a photo that's gonna be like Instagram worth it it's gonna be something that you'd want to post on every social media that you have then you took a bunch of photos of that subject that you have and then when you go home you import them on your computer or your laptop and then you go through them and then they just look plain they look boring so in this video I'll show you guys how you can make your boring photos look awesome pop out and just catches everyone's eyes make it Instagram worth it it's something that you'd want to post in every social media that you have Facebook Instagram and all that so why don't we get started all right so here is the photo that I'm gonna be editing so it's a photo that I took of the statue of Liberty um, I'm looking up and it looks like an interesting shot but the sky looks plain it looks boring and it doesn't seem to be very interesting to be posted on any of social media so what I want to do is um, I want to add some clouds and to get to make it look interesting to get some definition in the photos so for this tutorial I'll be using Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Lightroom so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on my photo so since my photo is shot on a raw file um, you're gonna get this window so I'm just gonna go ahead and click open images so now that we have our photo opened up in Adobe Photoshop we're gonna go ahead and look for some clouds so we're gonna you can use Google Chrome or Safari so I'm just gonna go ahead and click Safari alright so whenever I look things up I like to be very specific I like to refer to the photo that I'm gonna be editing so in this case I'm looking up at the Statue of Liberty so I'm gonna type something like um, let's say looking up on clouds and then just press enter and we're gonna go to images section so there's a bunch of pictures of clouds that I could probably use but I'm gonna go ahead and choose two to three pictures of the clouds just in case one of them doesn't work out Alright, so now that I have some pictures of clouds, I'm just gonna go drag them to Adobe Photoshop. And then what I like to do is drag them out of the Photoshop panel so that I can refer to my original photo. So in this case, the color of this picture looks really close to the original photo. So I'm gonna use this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag the picture to the original photo. And so now that I have the picture in the original photo, I'm just gonna go ahead and resize the picture. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and press Command T, and I'll make the picture as big as the original photo. Now, going on to the layers panel on the bottom right hand side, you guys will see that the Statue of Liberty photo, which is called the background layer, has a lock icon on the side, which means that we can't edit the layer without unlocking it. So to unlock it, we're just gonna go ahead and double click the layer and press OK. And that should unlock the layer and the layer is now called layer zero and we don't have the lock icon anymore. Then now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag the layer on top of layer one, which is the clouds layer. While the Statue of Liberty layer is still selected, I'm just gonna add a layer mask and it's gonna show this blank page here. And you can actually select back to the Statue of Liberty but for this occasion we're gonna go ahead and select the blank page here for this edit now going on to the left hand side I'm just gonna go ahead and select the magic one too and as you guys can see it will select the similarly colored image area so when I go to the photo and click anywhere around the sky it should select everything except for the Statue of Liberty now that I made my selection, I'm just going to go press delete and it should show up the clouds which is the layer 1 and now I'm just going to press command D to deselect the selection. And that looks alright but the cloud looks off so I'm just going to go ahead and do some adjustments to the layer 1. And now that I have it all adjusted, now I'm going to go ahead and save the photo to the desktop. Now I'm going to go ahead and open Adobe Lightroom so I can import the photo and start editing it. Now once the Adobe Lightroom is open, I'm going to go to the bottom left hand side and press import. And I'm going to go ahead and import the photo of Statue of Liberty. 
now that I have it imported in Lightroom I'm just gonna go ahead and double click the photo and I'm gonna go on the top here and press develop so I can start editing my photo I'm not gonna show you guys how I edit my photo just because I understand that most people have their own unique style of editing their photo they have their own unique look and all that stuff but if you guys want me to show you guys how I edit my photo feel free to comment down below and for sure I'm gonna go get into it but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and skip at the end and show you guys the final photo and this is what I got after I edit the photo that looks much better that looks really really good it's much more interesting and it has some definition on the background of the Statue of Liberty and this is something that I want to post in every social media that I have so I'm just gonna go ahead and save the photo and this is the evolution of the photo as you guys can see we have a photo that looks plain and boring and it doesn't even look interesting I don't even want to post this on any social media that I have and then I edit the photo and added some clouds to it then of course I had to do some final edits in the photo and this is what I came up with and that looks much better that looks much more interesting it has some definitions on the background of the Statue of Liberty and it's something that I'm really happy and I want to post on my social media all right that is it that is all that's how I make my photo look from being plain and boring to looking very interesting and um, social media worth it Instagram worth it People are gonna love it. I hope you guys like this video and if you guys do make sure you hit that like button down below and also if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button down below too. I upload new videos weekly. Also leave me a comment down below if you guys learn something from this tutorial and also if you guys want me to do more tutorials in the future. And don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link is down below. Make sure you hit that follow button too. And that is it. Until next time. Tell it I would have for like flipped in a double Tell it I would have for like flipped in a double